Hi guys, Brendan here. I received an email the other day from a subscriber who asked me about customs. He said, do I actually have to worry about customs and know whether or not a good is allowed to be imported into the country? How important is it? Do I need to be afraid or can I just import it and hope for the best? Well, I'm glad I got this question because I can talk from the heart because I've been in a situation where I've been on the wrong side of customs and, and really felt the brunt of it. When I was just starting out on my importing, I was importing these alcoholic breath testers and they were made in China. But I didn't know that customs required that you actually labeled your goods made in China so that the customer your, who buys your product actually knows where it's from. So what ended up happening was I got a letter from customs saying that the goods are prohibited to enter into the country until, of course, I've uh, I put those labels on them. So I had to find these made in China stickers, the little gold ones that you can find at your news agents and uh, went to the customs bond, but the problem was it was about an hour and a half, two hours out of the city, so I had to drive all that way there, go through my order, and I'm lucky I only ordered a thousand of them because I had to put a thousand little stickers, one by one, on all of these alcoholic breath testers, and I just got away with the, um, the, the, the customs bond closing, because if I was there, if I needed another five, ten minutes, I would have run out of time and had to come back the next day, and it would be another four or five hours out of my day. So look, I can speak from the heart, yeah, you actually do have to know your local customs rules and regulations before you import a product. And that's just one example of what can happen. I've heard an absolute horror story when a gentleman tried to import an actual heavy lifting container crane into the country and categorize it under customs as an agricultural um, sprayer by putting a hose around the outside. Of course, customs aren't stupid. They saw it and straight away knew, no, that's a heavy lifting crane, and it happened to be prohibited. Now, you can have some things that are prohibited, like guns and drugs, and there are consequences, right, which can include jail terms, but this was almost as bad in this case because the financial burden pretty much sent this person bankrupt. What ended up happening was they weren't allowed the goods in the country. It's actually international territory where the customs bond is, where the goods land and he wasn't allowed to bring it into the country. So it had to go somewhere and customs weren't going to store it there for the rest of time, for 10, 20, 100 years. So he actually had to pay for a ship, right? To take the goods, load the goods onto the ship and then take that ship and drive it to the end of the uh, continental shelf and then pay to get it thrown off. Now he ended up not just paying for the goods itself, but for loading the goods on the ship, the crew, right? The petrol for the ship and of course the dumping, and that put that guy out of business. And that was simply because he didn't get his customs declarations and his customs categorizing right from the start. So you can end a small situation like the one I was in, or much, much worse if you actually haven't handled your customs. I'm excited because um, we've just released, so just now, right now, we've got the China Import Academy, which includes uh, interviews with customs agents like Lance Schooler, who, who talk about situations like this, powerhouse logistics. Of course, there are many more. You've got importers like myself and specialist sourcing agents and trading houses, as well as, of course, you've got your warehousing, logistics, marketers, copywriters, and many, many more. Pretty much any expert that I could ever use or teach you about when it comes to importing, I've interviewed them and asked them the hard-hitting questions that you need to know as an importer so you don't end up in situations like me where you've got to label everything or situations where you go bankrupt and your company goes bankrupt and you're out on the street because you haven't handled something as easy as customs. So excited because right now you can click on the link below and for the first time you're able to purchase China Import Formula's very own brand new product, the China Import Academy. So um, click on the link just below now and also look out because this is not the end of it. Of course you can buy the product but there will be new videos coming out real soon on uh, the China Import Academy. I'm Brent Elias, I hope you have a lovely day.